Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for a cantilever beam with the UDL on some portion of the beam along with some point loads. So first of all, let us go through the statement. A cantilever beam of span 10 meter. Uh, you can see in this diagram 10 meter span. And it is loaded with two point loads of 3 kN, which is at a distance 3 meter from the free end V. And uh, second concentrated load is of 5 kN, which is acting at a distance 6 meter from free end of the cantilever. And uh, uniformly distributed load of intensity 2 kN per meter that you can see here at color. And uh, it is between the points or between the sections C and D. And uh, that means now this is the problem of cantilever beam with point loads uh, along with the uniformly distributed load on some portion of the beam. So we are going to draw a shear force and bending diagram. So as usual, first of all, in step number one, we will be calculating the support reactions. But uh, since this beam is a cantilever beam and is under static equilibrium, so no need is uh, for the calculation of reactions because in developing the equation we need not uh, to get the uh, help of the reactions but uh, we can directly create equation can be developed by taking section from the right hand side of the beam that is free end of the beam so section will be taken away from the free end and accordingly we can develop shear force and bending integration so first of all let us uh, develop the shear force equation we can take section uh, as per previous lectures also that means one section can be taken between b and c and after that there is a variation in the load so you can take section to c and d and after that uh, there is a, another variation of load and the third section you have to take between a and d so by taking section between b c section between c d and the section between d so let us first of all uh, take a section xx at a distance you can see in this diagram section xx at a distance x from the free and b of the beam and uh, now first of all uh, developing the equation for shear force between beam portion between b and c so shear force equation will be since there is no load between c and d portion or you can say load on the right side of the section which is under consideration so force we can say it is zero kilometer no vertical force is acting on bc so we can easily visualize here that between b and c no load is there so no shear force will be acting and uh, we can calculate shear force at b will be zero and shear force just uh, right of the c will be zero but when you have to take the shear force calculation just left of the c then due to concentrated load, it will be plus 3 kilo newton. And uh, regarding the shear force diagram, a horizontal line we have to draw between B and uh, just right of C of the reference line of SFD. Uh, like that, this is the point of uh, GS shear force at B. Then another point uh, at C, it is again zero shear force. So we can develop uh, this line that means the shear force between B and C is a straight line uh, tra uh, having zero value at B and C both. And uh, just uh, left of the C you can uh, know that this is 3 kN so we can take a vertical line. Okay. This, is, this will be the part of the shear force when you take section b and c now we have to take uh, another section section between c and d so for this c and d you are getting section this red color section we have taken at a distance x from the free end and uh, shear force equation we can easily develop that uh, shear force is sum of all the forces algebraic sum of all the forces either on the left side of section or right side of section so here we are taking on the right side of the section what are the forces so uh, 0 plus 3 kilonewton is downward and uh, another uh, this uh, udl portion between the section and uh, c so for that you can take 2 is the intensity and x minus 3 is the span on which is udl is acting so since it is a 
equation of a single degree, one degree equation. So we can say it will be a linear equation between C and D. So putting the values of X, that means when you want to find the shear force at C, so we can put the value X is equal to 3. Accordingly, you will get the value, shear force value at C plus 3 kilonewton. And uh, similarly, shear force value at D will be plus 9. So shear force at uh, C is 3 kN and the shear force at D, uh, we can say just right of D is 9 kN. And the shear force again just left of D, that means somewhere here, it will be 9 plus 5 is downwards, so 14 kN. So uh, now let us talk about the shear force diagram. Again, it is a inclined line because the magnitude is varying from C to D and the vertical line at exactly at D. So beyond D and up to A, beyond D and up to A since there is no load, so it will be a straight line just parallel to X axis. So we can draw it. So this is the shear force at D, 9 kN. So inclined line. Inclined line itself uh, indicate that uh, it is uh, UDL is acting on it. So whenever there is UDL on the beam, then the portion on which UDL is there, the shear force diagram will be a straight line if that is having some inclination. And uh, at uh, D, just uh, uh, left of D, we have calculated 14 kN. So this is the shear force diagram from B to C on this beam. And after that, since there is no load between D and A, so again at A also shear force will be 14 kN. And it is a horizontal diagram, horizontal line. Now let us develop uh, bending moment equations. So again, uh, appropriate section we can take. And uh, by taking section x at a distance x form and v, uh, you can see here in the diagram also, this is the section xx which we have taken. Now to develop the bending moment equation, first of all, let us take a portion BC and in this portion bending moment, since there is no load on BC portion, so no uh, question of bending moment. So bending moment equation, we can say it is 0 km meter and uh, bending moment at B is again 0 and bending moment C, that means just the right of C is also 0 km. Now what about the bending moment diagram, it is a horizontal line between B and C, that means between B and C, on the reference line itself, because it is having a zero magnitude. So this will be the first point, that means magnitude of bending moment at B and the bending moment at C, so it will be a straight line, uh, just on the reference line. Now another section, when we take section between C and D, so we can take the section at a distance X, now red color section is section between C and D. So bending moment equation now we have to develop. Now when you see all the forces on the just the right side of the section, then you will find one is concentrated load, 3 kN, and other is some portion of the UDL, and uh, that will be x minus 3, the length, length of the span, that is x minus 3. So bending moment is 0, and since it is giving a hogging moment, 3 kN is giving a hogging moment, as well as UDL is also giving a hogging moment. So both will be taken as negative. So minus 3 into x minus 3 because distance between this section xx and the 3 kN load is x minus 3. And uh, minus now when we calculate the UDL, moment due to UDL, so 2 kN into x minus 3 is the span on which it is acting and x minus 3 by 2 is the midpoint of the, or you can say the centroid of the load UDL between this uh, section and uh, 3 kN. So since uh, in the last portion of the equation you will get the x raised to power 2 that is second degree equation so it is a parabolic equation. So bending moment diagram between C and D will be a parabolic and uh, we can easily calculate bending moment C by putting x is equal to 3. When you put x equal to 3 this equation as well as this equation whole equation will become 0 so 0 kN meter. And uh, then bending moment D, that means just right of D when you calculate, you have to put X is equal to 6 meter because distance between B and D is 6 meter, 6 meter in this equation. And ultimately we will get bending moment at the point or at a section just uh, right of D is minus 18 kilonewton meter.
Now bending one diagram is a parabolic curve between C and D. So here we can draw this is a parabolic curve. Now last portion is between D and A. So now see the diagram carefully. We have taken a section XX between A and D and accordingly we have to develop the equation 0 and minus 3 into x minus 3 and 2 into 3 2 into 3 is the total udl udl is on 3 meters span 2 into 3 and uh, this will be the centroid of the load from the uh, x axis under consideration and the rest is the 5 kilonewton load so 5 kilonewton load that means it is acting at a distance x minus c so it is a single degree equation and a linear equation we can say so it is clear that bending diagram between uh, between d beyond d so here you need to make a correction beyond d it will be a straight line so bending at d already we have calculated that is a minus 18 kilonewton meter and bending at a when you put x equal to 10 it is minus 74 kilonewton so again it is a straight line minus 74 kilonewton and uh, this will be the actual she uh, shear force as well as bending diagram we have developed so far and uh, in the next uh, uh, lecture we will be going to solve this particular numerical where cantilever beam cantilever beam uh, with the udl as well as point load that means it is a uh, you can say better to say two uh, projections or cantilever portion de and da uh, we will be going to solve in the next